are you thinking? I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure what to do. I'm trying to figure out a good way to do an intro into this video. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm trying to brainstorm. I guess we could just We've start been talking. started, haven't we, you right, asshole? Right. I guess we just go that route, then. How long? Oh, just for a minute. Just for a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to another edition of Captain Bill. Big Shot Joe. Watch a movie. Watch a movie. You don't do the point no more. Watch a movie. That's it, man. So what do we got on for tonight, Bill? Well, for one thing, we got you within my social distancing range. Mm -hmm. Whoa, just bust up the joint, why don't you? That would have sucked. <laughs> so, this uh, this go round, mm -hmm. we watched a uh, come across a, a. I had heard about this. Actually, I had heard about this movie from my brother in law. It was a Netflix movie with Mark Wahlberg called Spencer Fairly New. Spencer Confidential. Mm -hmm. And I have sent, seen some other people who have commented about watching it uh, on the uh, on the old book of face on the interweb on the net yeah, yeah. on the line on the dial up <clears throat> so uh, so we uh, decided to check it out <clears throat> and good action comedy. I, it was good. It was good. I, I typically like I Mark Wahlberg movies. I do too. I, you know, I, I really Fantastic do. It's rare guy. that I, I, I dislike a Wahlberg movie. He was so, good. Uh, but um, you know, as 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 always, before we get started into the really talking about the movie, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pass it over to uh, Joey there and let him give you the details. Absolutely. So the name is Spencer Confidential. May 2020, rated R. It's about a two-hour running time, so it's not too bad. Um, Bill mentioned Mark Wahlberg is the main star, but you also have supporting actor Winston Duke, who plays Hawk in the movie. For those of you who uh, are wondering who Winston Duke is, he played M'Baku, in uh, the Black Panther and um, movie and, and Infinity Wars and Endgame, mm -hmm. he was the guy in Wakanda who led the the people that lived like up in the mountains. He was also in the movie Us, that was out not too long ago. We watched that movie. It was good. Very odd movie. Um, and yeah, he played the father in that. Very weird so, movie. Big guy, but uh, yeah, he plays. Um, he's a up and coming MMA fighter in the movie. Yeah, that is being trained by. Uh, well, he's Alan Arkin is his real name, but the character Henry, mm -hmm. who you know, he's given this guy a home to live in. Meanwhile, right. he's training at the gym. So. Henry, I believe, owns the gym. Yeah. So he's kind of like Mickey, only Rocky didn't live with Mickey. So who else is in this? Oh, you also have an Eliza Schlesinger. Schlesinger. The stand-up co comedian. Eliza I had such a problem announcing that name. So you go to do, go to on Netflix, you can find several of her stand-up specials. Mm -hmm. So she's in it. She was funny in this she one. She plays Mark Wahlberg's ex-girlfriend. Yeah. And, uh... Tip, uh, Boston woman. Don't want to piss her off. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg's character is, uh... He's a, a former Boston cop who got sent to prison because he beat the shit out of his captain. Drug him out of his own house. And beat the shit out of him out in the front yard. Just pummeling him. Uh, his partner, is, whose name is Driscoll, 
His partner at the time, who's played, played by, by Bokeem, Bokeem Woodbine, Woodbine, who's been in quite a bit of stuff. Oh yeah, he's been in lots of stuff. Um, he's uh, he was in Three Thousand Miles to Graceland. Yep. He was uh, the part of uh, Kevin Kevin Costner's uh, crew of Elvis impersonators that robbed the casino. Right, right. Um, and. Mm. Uh, you know when you eat popcorn, you get that little shell, just got a kernel, <sighs> hangs up, and you just kind of jar it loose. That's what happened. So that's what Bill's got going on right so, now. But yeah, he's he's in it. But uh, anyways, you know Wahlberg, like I said, beats beats him up and uh, goes to prison for five years. Yep. But and when he gets out of prison, it. Henry, it's Alan Arkin's character, picks him up from prison. and But as the movie goes on, the story unravels more. Right. So you're going you're gonna to find out certain things. You know. Right. Like, in the beginning of the movie, the day that Mark Wahlberg's character gets out of prison, the, the, the captain that he beat the hell out of five years ago before he went to prison is brutally murdered you know uh, via machete attack by uh, machete. Multi multiple people yeah it's pretty bad they do them pretty dirty so naturally you know the day he gets out of prison the guy who put him there you know sent him there Has is brutally, brutally murdered. murdered of course they come and they talk to him and which makes Spencer suspect number one right right and uh, you know he he's not surprised because you know he knew that you know that's one of the reasons why you know he did what he did back then because he thought the guy was crooked you know so he's not surprised when he got killed but then like the next day another officer is is found dead of a suicide you know then of course they're saying that they're trying to put they tried to spin it to put the blame on. That this officer who committed suicide killed the captain yep. and then himself. So try to some but type of the the cop in Spencer when he sees this this uh, this guy's wife all upset and crying, talking about that you know her husband was a good man and she knows he didn't do this and someone you know please help her and you know that's the cop in Spencer. So he starts digging. He's acting like uh, asking questions. A he starts, yeah. He's Basically, he starts investigating as to what's going on. And he's doing his cop work while not being a cop. And and the the the, the comedic part is is uh, you know when he could when he gets out, I like you know he was thinking that he was going to have a room all to himself at Henry's. Yeah. Little does he know he's got a roommate. Yeah, he walks in the room and he lays down on his bed and dude. he looks over. There's another cot in that room. Mm -hmm. He goes, Henry. <laughs> so he's got a roommate. So yeah. So this guy that we said Mbaku from the Black Panther, mm -hmm. Hawk is his name. The he was entertaining guy. though. Yeah. He was. He was funny too, bro. Yeah, he's uh, like I said. He he's the roommate. So him and, and the interaction between those two, and then of course they had a good dynamic. Yeah, Wahlberg goes. He proves in the in the very beginning of the opening scene. You know, right in the beginning of the movie when they show him in prison, and when they show uh, all the guys come in to fight him, to fight him, to to jump him, which I was kind of surprised to see Post Malone playing one of the prisoners. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah, he's the guy who comes in, and sits down, talking to uh, Wahlberg, and then all these other guys kind of start crowding around him, and that's when that old guy tells them, "Kick their ass," you know, Bobby or whatever his name was. I think it was Bobby. Right. Wasn't it? What was his name in the movie? Wahlberg. Wahlberg Spencer. Spencer, yeah, Spencer. Where the hell did I say Bobby? Ah, that was Four Brothers. Oh he was yeah. Bobby. Another good movie with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, it was. But, uh, Great movie. Tyrese is in that. Yeah, yeah. That's for another time. And uh, my girl, my honey, my love, my Hollywood crush. Um, 
Eva Mendes? No. Oh. Took a shot. Gloria from Modern Family. Gloria! Uh, why can I not? So I have a little bit of a thing we're going to do. Why can I not think of her name now all of a sudden? She's my Hollywood crush! We're going to do something. Sophia little... Vergara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, you should have said the wife of the dude from... I said from Modern Family. Yeah, but I would have known who you were talking about better. Now, I want to do something different. Now, we're not at this part of the thing, so don't worry. But I figured this would be fair. Fair dinkum. All right, so when we are ready to do the rating with the popcorn, what we're going to do is we're going to write them down. Don't show each other until we reveal them, okay, and see what we gave the movie. Okay, I'm going to give it the same rating regardless, but okay. Right on. Let's, Let's do that. So, anyways, yeah, in the beginning of the movie when he's in the prison with all the guys around him, and the old guy tells him, kick your ass, Spencer, mm -hmm. and he proceeds to kick the shit out of all those guys. Yep. You know, right from the beginning, he's a badass, so. Oh, yeah. So, Henry's having him train Hawk. Part of his rent, I guess. <laughs> in the gym. In the gym, yeah. So. And then him always, he, he tries, he tries his damnedest to avoid his ex-girlfriend too. <laughs> he was pretty crazy. She, she shows up in prison the day he gets out of there. He was already gone. But you've seen her. He took off. Oh, but. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So yeah, that's basically the premise of the movie is. Is Spencer with the with the help from Hawk? Mm -hmm. Cause you know Hawk, he was a down on his luck, you know, kind of. You could tell he had that, uh, you know, the hard time, you know, hard growing up, whatever, you know. It mm -hmm. seemed like he had he had issues, cause that's that's you know, how I, that's how he ended up helping him. Was you know, cause like you know, he sees the kid, you know, and he sees. You know, the, the single mother, the struggling single mom, and so that's that's what gets him on uh, Wahlberg's side all the time. Oh, yeah. And I mean, yeah, and it was funny, too, the dynamic with the dog. So <laughs> Wahlberg's put away for, what, five years? Five years. And he had his dog and everything with his relationship with... Uh, Sissy in the movie is her name. And, uh, you know, he got the dog in the relationship, and the dog was living with uh, Henry, Alan Arkin's character. Well, apparently his dog got attached <laughs> to uh, Hawk. Yeah. Mark Wahlberg did not take kindly to that. Spencer did. Yes, that is true. Sorry, folks, we're writing it down. Yes, we are. The verdict is in. All right, Bill. So, anyways. Am I putting this um, off to the side? Yeah. All right. So, basically, you know, he he's goes on and he's investigating this. And he's finding stuff out. And there is a... There is a twist, definitely. You can't say it like that, bro. Oh, man. You do something one time and you get expected you can't, to you do it all the time. say it like that, bro. Twist. The twist. There you go. There is. There's a few of twists. So, um, I love a movie that can do that, ladies and gentlemen. Give you, you know, kind of flip the script on you, you know. Right. I like a movie being unpredictable, so... It had that element. Yeah, when they do that 180, when you think you're going, you're going full speed down this road, and you think that you're that you're just going straight, and all of a sudden, Hit boom! Turn. There's a there's there's a there's a sudden right hand turn. Now right. you're going in a whole different direction. Well, I was looking up because I was curious just to see what other other rating systems were on this movie. Mm -hmm. And the only one I could come across was IMDb. 
And they gave it a 6.2 out of a whopping 10 stars. 6.2 out so, of 10. A little over half. Um, I'd say it's fair. I think the movie was a little bit better than that. Yeah. In my opinion. And again, that's why it's Captain Bill and Big Shot Joe watch a movie. That's right. We don't care about what... I mean, honestly, we'll, we'll give you the ratings of, you know, from Rotten Tomatoes or, you know, IMDb right. or, you know, if, right. you know, there was a, a rating that, you know, a Siskel or Ebert or somebody gave, you know. Mm -hmm. We'll share that with you, but... But the bottom line is... But it doesn't matter. It could... A movie that could be universally, you know, hated by, by all critics, according to them. Yeah, it was just, you know, it's winning... One of us you could know, actually end up winning enjoying. Razzie's awards. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, but I might have loved that movie. You might have loved that movie. You they might have, might have loved that you movie. You might have thought that it was fantastic, you know. Cobra. This is a perfect example. Cobra. My dad teases me and my mom... They razz me and give me shit about this movie all the time. Why is that? Because I like Cobra. But you know, my dad will joke, you know, or, you know, or my mom will about it, the critically acclaimed, you know, that that award winning, <laughs> you know, true, Oscar though. nominated, it's not true. Oscar per worthy performance. Well, when he comes out with stuff like Rocky and Rambo, it's a little hard to. Compete with that, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, they give me shit about it, you know, That's about funny. it being. I like that, you know, because they weren't fans of the movie. They found it to be kind of. That's where he met his wife, Bridget Nielsen. You know, corny and cheesy, but. I think that's where he met her. Yeah, I enjoyed the movie. I, I thought I it was liked good. It, you know, it had that eighties um, action. It, here's another one. Feeling. Green Lantern. What about it? People hate that movie. Yes, we. Ryan Reynolds it. hates that movie. Yes, he does. He even made fun of it in. I enjoyed it. Deadpool two. Daredevil with Ben Affleck. I enjoyed it. I've never seen that one. Um, you know. Maybe that could be a. Future I liked one. it. I liked it. You own that, don't you? You know. <clears throat> Batman versus Superman didn't get a lot of. I thought, a lot of love in the theater. Listen, listen I, I thought it was cool as shit. It was good, but they didn't need to put the Doomsday storyline in there. That could have been its on its own. Yeah, I agree on that. That could I, have I been a separate that. Superman film. And if you want, you can have the Justice League show up at the end. Like, yeah. they're there for his funeral. Spoiler alert. Right. Um. So. I mean, the movie's been out for, what, five, but six, yeah, seven these, years? But yeah, these, so. you know, we... Again, these ratings that we give... You know, on a scale of one to five, it's our own personal feelings. It's like, listen, you know, it's 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 what I enjoy. You know, it's it's the Captain Bill, the Captain Bill, you know, meter. Five being, I loved it. it they, I don't know what they it's could have the done Captain to make that Bill movie better. And Big Shot Joe. You know, yeah. um, Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame is a is it's a, a five. That's a five. Solid. Easily, there's, I, I I don't know what they could have done in that movie to have made it better, in my opinion. And I thought it just it was good. The same thing with Infinity Wars was a five. It was amazing. I, 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 yeah, I mean, just well, they Bill. were phenomenal movies. I you know, Usual Suspects is a five. Oh, easily, Shawshank Redemption. You know, so Green Mile, in my opinion, because these movies, Wars. I just. I, I loved the way and just Armageddon you that was another game. so right right yeah, Alien. so that, that that's Predator. yeah that's how we're basing our our views our Terminator ratings, our scores and we get the point <laughs> I was just waiting so you see the kind of things that I deal with I know he has it so rough ladies and gentlemen so now I want to tell you what I rated it as can we do that she Sir. talks about his young and going into the terrible twos right now. Uh, I think she learns it from him watching I'm in the, him. I'm in the terrible 32s, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. I gave it yeah, yeah. a 3.5 worth of popcorn bucket. 3.5. It was a solid good movie. thought it was hilarious. It had some good action sequences. There was some gore in their action. Wow, my feelings are hurt inside. 
You're cleaning that up. <laughs> would you? Would you spit on your rating? I spin the face of people who don't want to be cool, right? Would you put it as? I gave it four stars with extra butter, baby. Wow! Wow! There's a few tweaks they could have done, in my opinion. I don't think I don't think it would have been cooler. I would have liked a little bit more, but uh, it was pretty damn good. Very it was well good done. Movie. And, and, they left it open at the end. There could very easily be, be a a, a, another these. one. You know, it just, yeah, it's, exactly. It's, uh, I mean, honestly, it's definitely worth a watch if you're, if you're big on Netflix and, you know, because like Phil said, it is a Netflix exclusive. Excuse me. It is a Netflix exclusive. But, um, so if you're looking for things to do, especially since most of you guys are staying inside, I hope, with this corona stuff, check it out. Yeah. Great movie. And especially if you're a Wahlberg fan, you'll love it. Yep. So, I said my piece. Yeah, and maybe, maybe when you watch it, maybe you might enjoy yourself. A little Hormel corned beef hash. Are they available at two local grocery stores. Are they paying us for that? No, they're not, but it was just sitting on the table, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to share. Give them a shout-out. All right, corned beef hash. Corned beef hash. Right on. Fried up with some eggs. Very random. Some grits. Right on. Very tasty. Very tasty addition to any breakfast. So. So, yeah. Four stars of extra butter. Let us know in the comments what you guys would rate it on the Captain Bill and Big Shot Joe's rating system. All right. Mm -hmm. I'd be interested to find out. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a, take a browse, take a meander, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? A little uh, a little stroll, a little peruse. Where? Through the movies, movie titles. Oh, okay. For uh, the next like, movie selection. This? <clears throat> this is just the different ways I can say we're going to pick out another movie. Well, no, I was like straight up saying, where are we going, dude? Like, you got a trip planned or what? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Not anytime soon. Uh-uh, not unless we're you going to the state-certified coronavirus testing center. That's right. Seriously, though, ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, be smart, wash your hands, clean your ass, use hand sanitizer. That's the best I got. And don't get within six feet of me. Or anyone, for that matter. I'm That's screwed. Social distancing. Yeah, he's been encroaching upon me all damn night, and I haven't said anything. I've been trying to be polite, hoping he would uh, recognize I tried to get him to just be off screen and just we would hear him talk, you know, chiming in, but I would have left. He wanted to be in the video. So. I have every right to be in this video, some bitch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been. I do want to say this real quick. Uh, the state of the country right now, we really don't know what's going to be happening here in the next few weeks. Um, we're still going to try to get you guys. All the three, two, one screw content that we can. Um, Top notch quality content. Absolutely, isn't it? I cannot guarantee. Always. It. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, man. Hey, if we're on lockdown, there's no telling what kind of crap I might. I might just put. It might be. Video. Bill may have to post a video. I may have to post a yeah, video. Yeah, I just might be sitting in a chair watching TV and go, you know what? I'm just gonna talk to my YouTube people. That's it. How's everybody doing tonight? Right on. You know, just give you a insight as to what's Who going on. Who is with me. the real Captain Bill? This is his biography. That's a scary, scary it's thought. It's like a VH1 down. behind the, behind the uh, you know, behind the music. Bet you your parents will want to watch that one. Alrighty then. No. <laughs> so, anyways, folks. <laughs> You got Netflix, 
Check it out. Check it out. Spencer, Spencer Confidential. Confidential. Starring Mark Wahlberg. Alan Funny Murphy. stuff. Good action. Uh, you know. It's worth the watch. It's enjoyable. It's, it's, a, it's an enjoyable movie. And I, for one, hope they make another one. I'm so. sure they will. So. With that said. For Big Shot Joe. I'm Captain Bill. And we'll see you all next time. At the movies. Absolutely.